Out of all the cartoons that Nickelodeon has aired, 11 have received movies. It wasn't a surprise that MLAATR never received a traditional movie, but it doesn't stop fans like us from wanting one. Sure, some people consider Escape from Cluster Prime to be the equivalent of a My Life as a Teenage Robot movie, but that's simply not the case. It's described as a one hour long animated TV special. So, if a My Life as a Teenage Robot movie was made, what would it be about? Well, of course, there have been several plot lines that were never resolved in the show, particularly Melody's story. We didn't get to see her character fully develop, and it'd be interesting to see if she chooses to be good or evil. It would also be cool if Misty made some sort of appearance, since she has become a fan favorite character. Those aren't exactly predictions of the plot, just two characters that should show up at some point. The actual plot that I have in mind is the birth of XJ-10. I think that it would be interesting to see how Jenny would react to being replaced. What would Nora do to Jenny? Would she be put away like her sisters were? All of these questions could potentially be answered in this movie. XJ-10 is teased in two episodes of the show. Nora jokes about her and sibling Tsunami. Good night, XJs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 million. And good night, XJ-10. What? Kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> and her blueprints are actually visible in the episode, A Robot for All Seasons. Maybe Mom will know what's going on. Mom? <laughs> XJ-9! What a surprise to see you! <laughs> Mom? This seemed to hint at some sort of a future appearance of her. XJ-10 is just like Jenny, but she has minor upgrades, such as her being entirely waterproof, having more weapons, and being entirely blast resistant. At some point, I think that Vexus would corrupt XJ-10 somehow and make her evil. Jenny would then team up with Sheldon, Brad, Misty, and maybe even Melody and the other XJ models to defeat the evil XJ-10. Jenny needs all of their help, since XJ-10 is technically superior to her in every way. Once XJ-10 has been defeated, Jenny and Sheldon kiss, which would be the ultimate fan service for longtime fans of the series. Brad and Melody also stay together, now that Melody is finally good. Nora decides that it was very wrong to try to replace XJ-10, and chooses to lock her up in a closet, where she won't escape, because it's a cartoon. Assuming that this movie happens, it would probably act as the series finale, since Renzetti, the creator of the show, hasn't really expressed interest in doing anything after the story is complete. This movie idea isn't completely ludicrous. In an interview he did on Cartoons vs. Cancer, Renzetti said that Fred Seibert was trying to get an MLATR movie pitched as late as December 2015. Obviously, it's been three years since this was started, so that's bad news but we can hope. What would you guys want a MLATR movie to be like? Did you like our theory? We'd be interested to hear yours in the comments. If you have any ideas for videos, let us know. This has been your narrator Shane Zoltak. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.